What we're going to show you now is how to build a rolling riser. And rather than show you a very simple one with one deck, we're going to take two deck and put them together to make an 8x6 rolling riser with small casters. Again, we've kept the top off so it's easier for you to see. We're going to first start by showing you the small casters that we use, which give you a finished deck height of about a foot. Each of these casters has a plate and a spigot welded onto it so that it not only slots into a corner post but can also pick up an adjacent deck or even two or three adjacent deck. So there's four casters on that one but as you can see the two casters nearest to us are lipped out so that they can receive the next deck. Then two casters go into the next one. and the new deck gets laid on top of the two casters already in the original deck. And immediately again, as with the flanged legs, you put the bolts in and get them finger tight. And if you are doing a whole array, you might like to wait until you've got them all in before you tighten them fully. And there you go. OK, so this is our large caster, the 8 inch size, which can slot into a scaff tube. So we use these with our flange leg system. The advantage of that is we can go up to literally any height you like. So we've done quite tall rolling stages and we've even done rolling seating units. We've prepared one earlier just for speed, just so that you can see what's going on. But as they prepare the second deck, you can see the flange on the leg and the guys are going to do it exactly the same way as with the small casters. Locate them in the deck legs, then drop it on and bolt it up. 